Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Thank you very much for joining me. Our patient is a GPU. I don't even know what uh, GPU this is. I don't remember. I have the box over there. Uh, it's Asus, I think. Uh, it's some uh, a little older GPU. As you can see, there's very little components actually installed on the on the board. There's only like four coils and and a core and two memory sticks, and that's more or less all we have on this board. Now, I bought this off eBay as uh, broken, not working, and uh, the description it came with it was that uh, you're unable to install drivers. Other than that, it works. It displays and, and it seems to be working, but no way to install drivers. Now, when that happens, uh, there are two, well, there, there's plenty of possibilities, but one that I'm familiar with, uh, some of these older cards are no longer compatible with, I don't remember, the X10, the X11, whatever. And uh, for that reason, you are unable to install the driver. Uh, basically, resolution is um, is cut to to you know. But basically, it it won't work. It's not. It's no longer compatible with the latest software. Uh, the other possibility that I'm familiar with is uh, the BIOS issue. Uh, corrupted BIOS can give that result. Uh, it's maybe a little less likely because typically when the BIOS is is corrupted or you know, there's something with the BIOS. Typically, the there's no image. The card won't won't boot, won't start, but it is possible. Now, from my testing, I put it on the on the board and I connected the display. And first, it would work. Then it wouldn't work. Then it would work again. Then it wouldn't work again. So what I'm thinking um, is that. Perhaps this used to be very, uh, this used to be very popular back in the day, uh, to reflow the core, and since we're at it, we we'll, we're gonna reflow the memory chips. Now oh, this one's uh, discolored. Perhaps perhaps it's a memory issue. Who knows? We don't really fix the GPUs here. The purpose of this is to f um, first of all test the version 108 of the of the software. Uh, and to find <clears throat> to find a good um, temperature curve, the good profile for reflowing the GPU core. Uh, the procedure is pretty simple because all you have to do is just heat it up and just gently push it from one side to see if it's if it's moving. If it's moving, then just you know gently gently push it so it just kind of starts wobbling on on the on the balls and that supposedly helps um, in case there is a cracked ball uh, underneath now if there is a corroded pad underneath this will likely not help it might um, help for a little while uh, but typically if you suspect corroded pad we should remove the core uh, clean the board reball the core and and replace the core. So this is not necessarily the, the, the repair. I don't have a stencil. I do have a proper uh, stand to rebold this core, but I don't have a stencil. So I'm not gonna be able to, to rebold it. Not that I even would, because this card most likely is not not recoverable. Mainly, probably, it's just not compatible. Uh, I'll I'll probably if if I remember, I'll put the exact model in the description if you wanna if you wanna double double uh, check. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the the good part about this one actually is that typically cores those bigger cores. Uh, have some uh, adhesive on each corner. So before doing this, uh, you just need to heat it up with hot air and just remove uh, remove that adhesive. And the purpose of that is so it um, so it stabilizes the core because when the when the heat sink pushes on the core, we don't want it to push on the on the actual pins underneath. We want it to push against something something else. So 
that's um, one of the reasons why this uh, adhesive is applied. Now this one, I'm not sure because it looks like uh, the heat sink is going to be pushing directly on the solder here, uh, which makes it more likely that uh, reflowing might produce some results on this one. It's possible. But as I said, we're not we're not trying to fix this one. We're just trying to find a good profile for Rework Pro. Now, if you have uh, Rework Pro 106 or 107, if you reached out to me and few people did, uh, <clears throat> you will receive a link, unsolicited link from me um, with version 108. If you didn't, just hit me up if you want the latest version. Uh, the main difference, other than those uh, tweaks and and few few features, the main difference is that previous versions were suffering from issues r resulting from multi-threading. Uh, there was there was a problem, uh, and it's surprising surprisingly it worked pretty well with that problem. Uh, but in version 108, it has been revealed dramatically just wouldn't work basically it would be all over the place and i fear that some someone could have the same problem in version 106 or 107 so if you have any of these problems definitely reach out to me i might actually do a sort of like a recall and just just send the links to everybody that purchased uh, previous versions and that's probably what i should do um, because it is it is relatively serious bug that I that I discovered there, um, uh, but that bug is fixed. Plus we have all the all the other features. I get everything set up. Let's set up the machine, and and let's reflow the core and the memory chips. We'll see what the what the curve is going to be, but uh, this this board is not super thick as the the other GPUs. Uh, the, the more modern uh, GPUs. There's also a few components. Um, so the temperatures for this one <coughs> is not going to be, or the profile for this one is, is not going to be the same profile as it would go for 4090 or something like that. Um, but I'm suspecting, <coughs> because other than maybe a few components and the board may be not too thick, but those boards come with a lot of copper and the majority of the of this board is copper <laughs> so uh, uh, copper will uh, act as a uh, heat sink so it'll re release the temperature into the air very quickly so uh, step one um, probably 200 degrees at the bottom um, i would think yeah, 200 degrees i would say the at the least uh, we're going to uh, do the preheating stage, then uh, reflowing stage. Uh, I'm going to try to include the preheating in the profile. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, because that, that way you don't have to do the manual preheating. Also, there are some new features coming in the following versions. Um, as far as waiting uh, for the bed temperature. Uh, so the top heater will not turn on until the bed temperature reaches the whatever temperature you set and then the the profile will start and you can also wait for the temperature to go down before proceeding uh, but that's coming that's coming pretty soon and um, other than that we are um, in the full works with the with the new design of the rework station we're designing both hardware and the software and um, if you want to contribute to that, uh, the project is open source. If I remember, I'll link the, I'll link the repository in the description. Uh, with all that being said, let's set up the machine and let's do some reflow.
Okay, so that's 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes preheating. Um, and the rest, as you saw, it didn't take much, 225, and it was already, I, I think it was already flowing at 225. I started poking at it at around 235, something like that. So that 245 step was not necessarily needed. Uh, but it nicely, it was nicely floating uh, everywhere. I put some Kingbow flax on it, of course. Um, and now, without putting on any heat sinks, let's see if we get an image and if the core is going to start getting hot. Uh, because it, uh, the core wouldn't get hot before, right? It would, um, it would display something, uh, but uh, it wouldn't get hot, and uh, it would just, it would just freeze. So let's see. Let's switch it on, and let's boot it. Okay, now let's see if there's going to be a match. Oh, the core is heating up. That's a good sign. But we have no image. Oh, and it turned off. The board turned off. Now it's turning on again. Sometimes that's normal after installing a new device. The core is getting is getting hot. The core is turning on. And now it's working. Hmm. Okay, so that's without GPU. Now let's test with the GPU again. Uh, what I did is I just reseeded the memory. Was that an issue or is this board just super unreliable? It has been removed from working device. I bought it off eBay and you know, not as faulty board. It should be fully working, but you know, there might, there might be some issue on it that the seller just didn't know of. Okay, and now the moment of truth again. And the core is getting warm. And before the CPU wouldn't, um, the CPU fan wouldn't be spinning as it is right now. Um, yeah, and we have black screen. Yeah, that's what it was doing before. Okay, let's turn it off because it's it's heating up a lot. So that's the that's what I've been seeing before. Uh, the core, the it would go to the boot screen, and uh, the boot screen would flash twice, and then it would go to black screen, and and that's it. And the GPU would turn off, but the GPU wasn't heating. Now it is heating. So maybe reflow did something i didn't reflow the memory maybe memory reflow would also help but that's not necessarily how you diagnose the gpu <laughs> right and i mean in this case since it is technically booting right what we should do is just run a memory test on it uh, maybe some other test software um, but electrically, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, let's see, did it deform? Not really. I forgot to take off this plastic thing here <laughs> that melted. Um, so, but other than that, well, at least it, it doesn't work the same way it didn't work before. So we didn't break it. But as I said, this presentation was all about um, reflowing the core and we have a good profile at least for this card we have a good profile to reflow the core and I will see if I can include it in subsequent versions before I before I send you guys the updated 108 version I'll see if I can include the GPU reflow profile. I have discovered an issue um, with uh, preheating or the step that I wanted to design as a preheating step. step. Uh, no, it's not going to work that way. So um, 
I found a solution or I thought of a solution, I put it on a piece of paper over here and I will implement it sometime in the future. But that'll do for today. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found this at least entertaining or at least, um, well, at least entertaining. Hopefully there was some knowledge. Thank you guys very much. I shall see you in the next one.